I'll never learn, you know. No, 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 no. Crikey. All too often I've seen them cut out their flipping collar beans on the roof trusses that they do. Because they want to convert the granny hair into an attic space where they can sleep in. Or maybe it'll be a lounge, I don't know, with a dormer window maybe. Well, they decide they don't want to bang their head on the collar bean. No, no, no. Instead of chopping two feet off your legs, they chop one great hole in the collar beam. And as such, the structural integrity goes away. Let me explain. We well, see, this is a traditional truss. You've got your king post. You've got your principal rafters. You've got your struts. You've got your collar beam, something called tide beam. The thing is, though, if you cut that collar beam like that, so you can put a door in it or something like that, where is the structural integrity? You've got all this load coming in from either side like so, and the load transfers down the principal rafters, pushing out the walls that they're sitting on. And, yeah, you've got a bit of a collapse situation that you have to lose.